Now then, how are you doing? I hope you're well. It's over 30 years since I last visited Top Withens on Howarth Moor, commonly believed to be the inspiration for Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. Well, I'm pleased to say it hasn't changed much. Join me then as I tap into my inner Cape Bush and take a hike up to the old Earnshaw homestead. Today I'm on Howarth Moor in West Yorkshire, just a mile or so outside the historic Airedale village of Howarth. I'm heading for a ruined cottage located on the eastern slopes of Withens Height, known simply as Top Withens. This whole area, festooned with wild windy moors and punctuated by deep dikes and mad becks, is often referred to as Bronte country after the famous inhabitants of the parsonage in the village of Howarth itself. Top Withens is commonly believed to be the inspiration for the Earnshaw family house featured in Emily Bronte's 1847 novel Wuthering Heights. It's easy to see how such a wild and dramatic location might generate such romantic fictional outpourings. Even if, as stated on a plaque fixed to the outside of the ruin by the Bronte Society, the buildings, when complete, bore no resemblance to the house she described. But the situation may have been in her mind when she wrote of the moorland setting of the heights. Well, I remember visiting the site over 30 years ago when walking the Pennine Way, which passes right by the ruin. I have to tell you, it hasn't changed much in all that time, but it was nice to be back. All I had to do now was think about how I might tap into some of the Bronte magic, not with words, of course, but with watercolour. It can be fun to skip the initial pencil drawing stage and dive straight in with watercolour without any pre-planning at all. There is always a bit of a gamble to that approach, of course, but the process is quite liberating, nevertheless. Another fun and challenging exercise is to ignore how a subject looks in the source photograph and create a whole new, unique perspective. Here, for instance, the blue sky and bright sunshine so prevalent during my visit has been replaced by a dramatic winter light and snowfall.
It's worth noting that Top Withens lost its roof a long time ago. In fact, you may be surprised to learn that it was actually inhabited as late as 1926 by an ex-soldier who only endured one single winter there. Earlier than that, in 1888, the property was inherited by Anne Sharp and her husband Samuel. A report on May 18, 1893, in the local newspaper, told of a particularly fierce thunderstorm at Top Withens, illustrating just how hard it was for anyone who lived there. A lightning bolt had struck the farm, blasting holes in the wall and tearing part of the roof off, with the wind then flinging the slates down into the valley. The bolt smashed the flags paving atop Withens' floor and shattered around 30 windows. In the kitchen, the heat melted a knife blade and Anne's dough bowl was destroyed. Howling and screeching, the dog and cat ran from the house. Life was never easy at Top Withens. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Attempting a watercolour without any pre-planning can be both scary and exhilarating. If you've never tried it, then I highly recommend you give it a go. Who knows, it might transform your way of working. Well, if you're interested in viewing the full, uncut, non-time-lapsed version of this watercolour demonstration, complete with commentary and step-by-step -step notes, then there are now two ways to go about it. If you sign up as a member of my YouTube channel for only £8.99 a month, you'll get exclusive access to the full version of this video, along with downloadable notes on how to paint it yourself. To sign up, simply hit the Join button below this video. Alternatively, a subscription to my online tuition service for only £9 a month will give you access to this and hundreds of other similar projects, complete with extensive notes and additional resources. Well, there are several fully curated courses available, along with an upgrade option if you're looking for private one-to-one -one tuition. Well, if you're new to my channel, please do hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing. It all really does make a difference. Until next time, take care.